in this video what we are going to do is we are going to understand the plan production process currently i have opened my understanding plan production process drawing so first what we did was we created view frames so if i go here we had view frames and they were at 600 meter intervals so what happens here is civil 3d divided my alignment into 600 meter intervals along the alignment so how we get this 600 meter value so our scale of the drawing is 1 is to 2000 so if i go to my plan production template this is this length is 345 so that is 400 and uh, 1 is to 1000 scale so if you go for 1 is to 2000 scale this should be multiplied by 2 in other words this is 690 meters you can in the viewport you can show 690 meters so if you can remember while creating the view frames we are setting the view frames to the nearest nearest 100 value so nearest 100 means we have 690 so we can cannot show 700 even though it is nearest 100 value maximum 690 because this is 345 345 into 2 it is 690 so nearest 100 value is 600 meters so that is why this view frames are uh, divided into 600 meter sections so that is how we get that 600 meter section so after we divided this into 600 meter sections what civil 3d does is it, it gets the plan view at 600 meters and it gets the same profile view at 600 meter interval so you can see it is coming here 0 0 and it is going up to 100 and this tie side also going up to 100 up to the match line so after the match line the it, that part re relates to the other sheets up to this match line we have this drawing we have data in this drawing because we don't have profile data after 600 even though we check the uh, plan beyond uh, 600 we don't have values in the profile so we should not read anything beyond the match line and this match line station is we have 600 so we read only up to that point so after that we go to the other sheet and this sheet also we should not read before the 600 it should be after 600 and up to 1200 likewise then we have to understand what is mean by this north arrow so if i move here you can see my view frame is rotated in a horizontal position because it is current first this view frame if you see here this view frame is this view frame is at this angle now when we are weaving in it in the layout it is rotated to this angle because we are seeing it horizontally so usually this north value is at the upward direction north value is at the upward direction so when you rotate this one your north arrow will be rotating like this side it will if you rotate this one to the this side to get it horizontal your north arrow is also rotating to the right side you can see it here now your north arrow is rotated slightly to this direction so this is how you know our uh, view frame is rotated from the initial position this is also same it is rotated then this one is rotated further than the uh, previous two so that is why we need a north arrow here because we need to understand the actual direction of the uh, road or the alignment that is why we are using this north arrow always we are rotating the view frame at the horizontal direction so to get the real directions we need this north arrow so now 
we know what is the plant production process and how it is happening so we have se separate sheets because we have separate sheets because for easy weaving because we cannot check this all 100 1000 uh, 500 meter at once because it will have problems when we are plotting so for the uh, easiness of plotting we are changing it to 600 meter intervals because of this 1000 means to 2000 scale right so that is how to uh, how the things happening in plant production process now i think most of you have the understanding what we have done up to this point so this is about uh, plant production